Deep under the Mexican jungle lie traces of ancient life. We even find remains of animals that went extinct over 12,000 years ago, in today's episode on the Dive Saga channel. In our last episode on the Dive Saga channel, we explored Nohochna Chich, a cave that is part of one of the world's largest underwater cave systems in Mexico. During that dive, I wondered if such ancient caves exist, would it be possible to find remains of animals that have since long disappeared? Today, we are en route to a place that is rumored to have such remains. Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Dive Saga channel. Back in the Mexican jungle with world famous cave photographer Carolina Wells. Carolina, where are we going today? We are gonna do two dives in Concha. Concha, okay. I have no idea yet, but it's part of the Sacatun system, is that correct? Yeah. And supposedly it's very beautiful. So. First a little bit of a bumpy ride and then we get ready. A bit of a bumpy ride indeed, because today's destination lies far off the main road. So you can imagine my surprise when the jungle suddenly comes to a dramatic end and makes way for a giant railroad track. This is the construction site of the Tren Maya, a contested project that cuts straight through the jungle. The enormous land clearing and the scope of the project are in stark contrast with the natural intimacy found at most cenotes. Before long we have reached our final destination and continue by foot to the hidden entrance of Cenote Concha. Everything around this cenote is clearly ancient. Here we may just find what we are looking for. What we are looking for are the remains of two extinct animals that used to live in this region. One is the ground sloth, a species considerably larger than the modern day sloth, up to 10 feet long. The other is the gomphotheer, an elephant-like creature with a shoulder height of up to 9 feet and an extra set of tusks, both extinct since several millennia. If it is possible to find remains of such prehistoric creatures, then this definitely seems like the place. So we gear up and make our way back through the jungle to the entrance of Cenote Concha. Look at that. If that's not worth protecting, then I don't know what is. Many well-known cenotes are heavily commercially developed, but Concha seems like a well-hidden sacred garden. All right, some beautiful decorations, some large chambers, a giant slot, and a confuterio. Confuterio, a little prehistorical baby elephant. Let's go check it out. Through a tiny gap in the shallow pond of the cenote, we slip into the overhead environment of Cenote Concha. Slowly but surely, the cave becomes more and more decorated as we progress, before it finally opens up into a large chamber. Let this be the time for me to remind you that however beautiful all of this looks, cave diving hides considerable risk and should not be attempted without proper training 
equipment and planning. In the previous episode, we learned about different cave formations such as stalactites and stalagmites. Concha, being part of the same Sac Actun cave system, is no exception. These cenotes are millions of years old, with the majority of them forming around 65 million years ago when the Shiksulup asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula. Our presence here is but a tiny blip on the timeline of the existence of this cave. As we push deeper and deeper into the cave, it's as if we slowly but surely rewind the clock and travel further and further back in time, stepping into a vault that hides the secrets of our planet's history. It's commonly accepted that the cenotes flooded some 18,000 years ago, when the sea levels rose after the last ice age. If you remember that these formations can only grow when not submerged, then you understand that every decoration in this cave is at least 18,000 years old, but most of them many millennia more than that. And then, under an alcove on the floor, a skeleton reveals itself. Here, we can clearly see the spine of the ground sloth, most likely a juvenile. Human activity may have caused the giant sloth to go extinct some 11,000 years ago. But Concha hides more, and she hides it well, so we have to navigate through some narrow passages further into the cave. Superstition aside, it seems prudent to not touch the million-year-old artifacts in the ancient Mayan cave. I even have to tilt my camera rig, because otherwise it won't fit. No more large chambers, as the passages become narrower. As the seconds tick away on our dive computer, it's as if the tapestry of time itself slowly unravels as we swim under million-year-old stalactites and find the remains of the Comfortier, an elephant-like creature that last walked this earth some 12,000 years ago. Although these remains are likely much older than that, since the Gomphothir arrived on this continent some two and a half million years ago. Here you can clearly see its skull. A valid yet difficult to answer question is what these remains are doing so far into a cave. One theory is that the bones were discarded here after the Gomphotir was hunted and eaten by human beings. To humans in that timeline, we live in a distant future where the caves have become flooded and our futuristic technology enables us to try and puzzle together the pieces of our past. Nevertheless, we will likely need to make peace with the idea that we will never know the full story. And as much as I am passionate about our planet's history, our local guide requested that I purposely keep the exact location of these remains vague to discourage unsolicited visits or even poaching. In an era where high-speed trains will soon traverse the jungle, some things are best left where they are, so they can continue to tell the story of our planet and of the ancient soul of this part of the Mexican land.
And so we safely trace back on our steps from our million year journey and make our way back to daylight and back to the present time. Woo, what an amazing dive, guys. A little giant slop and a confutero, <laughs> whatever that is. And Oh, just a wonderful, amazing dive. But stay tuned for next episode because next episode we're going to dive somewhere even more special. In the next episode on the Dive Saga channel, we truly venture off the beaten track with famous cave explorer Robbie Schmidtner as he takes us to one of his personal discoveries. More people have been to outer space than to this gigantic cave. So keep an eye on the Dive Saga channel, subscribe, like the video. Thank you to Carolina Wells for her expert guidance. I'll see you next time. Voila!